Good afternoon. Welcome to Bangladesh Institute of Peace and Security Studies live session on Facebook. Today we are gathered here for the second solemn anniversary of the Holy Artisan incident. So we are going to talk about some of the radical issues and aspects on radicalization. We have our research associate, Mr. Khaled Nasir, here. Uh, Mr. Nasir, uh, so do you have any ideation on cyber radicalization? Okay, thank you for having me. Uh, let's talk about uh, the cyberspace itself. Uh, what is cyberspace? Cyberspace is actually a maze of network between uh, different computers, and it is uh, stretching from one part of the, uh, uh, the world for, to another. And before uh, the advent of internet, uh, the radicalized uh, uh, the radicals who used to radicalize through uh, through pu putting their message through the some small communities so they would even use the peer pressure uh, their own community to get people radicalized so they would find more people from the, for the cause and right now with the advent of uh, cyberspace they are putting their message through uh, cyber cyber media for example from uh, with uh, social media uh, from uh, with internet apps and they were using very sophisticated encryption technology, which actually hides the message that is actually being conveyed from one point to another. And with uh, and this kind of uh, uh, radicalization is actually ta taking place worldwide. And examples can be drawn from our own country. For example, the Holy Artisan Tech, and some of the perpetrators, perpetrators and the young men, those who actually in were involved in this uh, horrible crime, they use cyber technology to gather information and to plan their operation, and they would use the, uh, the, uh, the cyber technology to convey the message from one point to another. And it has become a very, uh, uh, become a, it has already become a very wide range of challenge for the law enforcement, law enforcement agency over here. And, and it has become a very, very strong challenge for the, our own law enforcement communities. Mm -hmm. So this is a very pessimistic situation in terms of law enforcement as well as the general scenario of the country. So do you have any possible remedies or any recommendations for encountering cyber radicalization? Okay, uh, at BIPS we are actually working on cyber radicalization. We already have an international con mm -hmm. conference on uh, cyber radicalization. Mm -hmm. and basically we're focusing on our, the topic of cyber hygiene and because the uh, awareness it should start with us like what we actually been uh, sh uh, we actually share on the internet it has real consequences and many of, uh, of us are actually not using like let's say strong passwords and we, we actually share things before we actually think thinking before actually we sharing so so this kind of practice should be uh, should be stopped and we should be more aware of like what we are actually sharing because these uh, this uh, form of sharing has real consequences in our life so that's it. Thank you very much. So on that note, think twice, act wise before you post anything on the internet. Thank you very much for having us. Thank Goodbye. you.